Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklit Educational Channel. So this is the Gate Ecology and Evolution most important concepts series in which we are on the rapid revision and this is the part 16. So if you haven't watched the previous parts, you can watch the link given in the i button to know more about the Gate Ecology and Evolution important questions and concepts asked in the Gate examination. So without much delay, let's start today's video. So here we go with the first question. The first question is a cross between a pure bred plant with red flowers, so pure breed plant with red flowers and a pure breed plant with white flowers produced F1 generation with pink flowers. So when a pure red flower, so let us assume that is RR is breeded, is having breeding with the pure breed of white flower that we can say small rr then it produces f1 generation as r that is capital r and one small r which means it is giving the pink flower so this is red and this is white which is giving us the pink flower in the f1 generation that is the first generation so till this point i hope it is clear next it is telling if the plants with pink flowers are selfed Self means if RR that means the pink flowers RR is having cross with the pink flower itself then what will be the proportion of white is to pink is to red flowers. So it is asking about the F2 generation simply if I am telling it is asking about the second generation expected in the next generation. So here are the options given 1 is to 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2 is to 1, 2 is to 1 is to 2 or 2 is to 2 is to 1. Very simple question, chocolate question. I hope you are ready with your notes. So let's solve this question and I hope you will be noting down all these things. Coming to the next slide when we will be discussing, when we will be solving this question, very simple. So we have discussed red crossed with white flowers. It produced pink flowers and when this pink flower was always, it will be crossed with the pink flower as given in the question. So what it will produce? First we will do the Punnett square. Punnett square is the best technique to get all this answer. So here what happens is RR that is one capital R small r is crossed between another capital R small r that is what? That is pink flower. So they will give what? R allele, small r allele and capital R from one parent and small r from the other. So look at this square only. So no need to look into here. This square only you look. So what? After crossing they will give one will give either both RR or they will give one capital R with small r or they will give one capital R with small r or both small r. So I hope you can understand very simple thing no need to go deep I am not explaining this thing because they are very very simple thing r cross r will give rr r when given with small r will give capital R and one small r. So what does this indicate? This indicates you can see here one capital R capital R means pure breed of red flower. So red is only one because two capital R only one. So it will be one as you can see red RR that is one and small RR is how much small RR also it is only one as you can see here. So white is also one but pink color you can see pink is two one capital R and one small R. So there are two cases here if you are crossing the pink with the same pink flower that is the selfing. So it will give two pink flowers. So here we will write it as two. So here in the question it was asked white, pink and red ratio. White is one and pink is two and red flowers are also one. So it will be one is two, two is two, one. So here I have mentioned red, pink, white. But if you are moving it to the other side also, white is to pink is to red also same because red one and white one and what matters is pink that is at the center and it will be two. So 1 is to 2 is to 1 will be the correct ratio, correct answer for this question. Option B will be the correct option. So I hope you have understood well. If you haven't understood, you can ask me in the comment section. Let's move to the next question. Next question coming from the evolution. Which one of the following major mass extinction is the most recent? And options are Cretaceous Paleogene, Late Devonian, Permian Triassic, Triassic Jurassic. So in order to know which is most recent you should know what are the major mass extinction and when it took place so these things are important to note down because questions can be asked from here. So let's move to the next slide in order to know yes here comes the thing which you have to note down this table is very very important 
which I have made it here. First, in the left hand side, you can see geological period given, mass extinction name, and time in million years ago. So, how many million years ago they took place? It is also mentioned. Starting with the first mass extinction, it is the geological period time Ordovician and Silurian geological period. But that mass extinction name is called as what? It is called as only Ordovician or end Ordovician or simply in short form OS. So don't get confused when it is given OS. OS means Ordovician Silurian that is mass extinction name is OS or end Ordovician or simply Ordovician. When it took place? It took place 440 to 450 million years ago. So that is the oldest one that is the not recent one. So first mass extinction took place 450 to 440 million years ago. Second is late Devonian period or which is called as mass extinction name is end Devonian and it took place 375 to 360 million years ago. Third is Permian and Triassic geological period but its mass extinction name is end Permian or only Permian it is called as and it took place in 251 million years ago and one most important point is that it is the largest mass extinction that means in that mass extinction most number of species were cleared so they were gone from the earth that means their extinction was at highest rate so 96 percent species were gone or they were destroyed because of this mass extinction next is fourth mass extinction that is triassic and jurassic geological period here the mass extinction name is in triassic or triassic simply it took place 205 million years ago but the final one that means you can't say it is final because as a rate of the global warming and climate change we are heading towards the sixth mass extinction so god save us from that so we should know the last mass extinction was fifth one that is cretaceous and paleogene geological period and the mass extinction name is in cretaceous or only cretaceous or kpg kpg or kt both are same that means cretaceous paleogene period or kt period it is the same as the cretaceous mass extinction name so this thing you should note down and it took place 65.5 million years ago so this is the recent one which was asked in the question so that will be what cretaceous paleogene period that means option a will be correct so you should know this table in order to answer this question if you know this table know this five mass extinction name their geological period then you will be able to get the correct answer and get the full marks Let's move on to the next question. Yes, next question is on your screen. Next question is which one or more of the following? That means this question is MSQ question. That means multiple select question. Multiple options can be correct. So here the question is asking which one or more of the following is or are not an example of a zoonotic disease. So first thing you should mark not because this not will play a vital role somebody will be not reading most of the students will be skipping that and getting zero mark if you are not reading not so first of all you should know what is a zoonotic disease zoonotic disease means disease caused by pathogens so that pathogen can be what it can be bacteria it can be virus or it can be prion so prion are also what you should know that prion are misfolded proteins so all these three are the pathogens and these pathogens they are disease causing bacteria when they are transferred or transmitted from animal to the human beings so jab janwar se human beings ko aata hai koi bhi disease with through the help of this pathogen through the carrier mode then these are known as zoonotic disease zoo matlab animals rehte hain jahan pe so from them you can understand that animal passing this disease to the animals that is we animal that is humans so animal passing to the humans are called as the zoonotic disease those disease so in the options let us read first is ebola ebola is a very dangerous disease we all know several deaths occur and it is transferred from monkeys or shrews or bats it is believed so that is a zoonotic disease then comes hiv aids hiv aids is transferred from the chimpanzees chimpanzees are the organism or the animal from which the disease came to humans then coming to the lyme disease lyme disease is i hope you are writing down it was transferred it is believed from deer wolf rodents or birds 
so i repeat deer wolf rodents or birds they are transferring this disease to the humans and option d is poliomyelitis that is polio disease so polio disease is not a zoonotic disease yes it is not transferred from animal so as a result that will be the correct option so it is not an example of zoonotic disease option d only one so to confuse you it has mentioned that one or more you should not get confused you should know all these things these three are transferred or transmitted from the animals and this is not so these three are zoonotic disease and this is not so i hope you are able to understand very simple thing let's move on to the next question next question is the question which will test your basic knowledge common sense let's read it the question is small islands tend to have fewer species than the nearby large islands so it is obvious let us assume this is an island that is small island and this is a bigger island so here it is telling that small island will be having lesser number of species and large island will be having the more number of species so the question is asking which one or more of the following reasons explains this outcome so it is also asking one or more that means it is also multiple select question let us read one by one every option option one is small areas have higher extinction rates so that means what yes if the area is small the species will be going through the extinction very very soon so that is a correct thing this is the correct explanation next is small areas have low environmental heterogeneity that means what yes environment is not varying so different environment is there different niche if you are getting then you will have more species if it is heterogeneous that means it is less heterogeneous it is asking low heterogeneous that means it is a similar kind of habitat then it will not produce more species so that is the thing it is also correct next is smaller areas support smaller population basic thing common sense yet it is also correct d is telling smaller areas have high speciation rates so this thing is not correct speciation means from one species if you get more than one species new species then it will be called as the speciation so in smaller areas it is not seen because of these reasons because high extinction rate low environmental heterogeneity supporting low smaller population because of that the speciation rate is low it is not high so this statement is wrong but a b c all these three statements are telling that small islands tend to have fewer species than the nearby large islands very simple question let's move on to the next question next question yes very beautiful picture coming up so which one or more of the following reasons has or have been invoked to explain island gigantism so island gigantism or gigantism so what is that thing let us read that a biological phenomenon so island gigantism is a biological phenomena in which the size of an animal species isolated on an island increases dramatically in comparison to its mainland relative so as you can see in this picture they are the turtles so these turtles are looking very very large so if we compare to the mainland turtles they are bigger in size so they are dramatically increase in size is seen to the mainland relatives so their relative are not humans their relatives are turtle so in the land the mainland the turtle size is less but in the case of isolated in very very far away place if there is an island then their size is seen as more it is an example so why this is the reason what are the reason you have to identify so it is given in the option we have to select absence of interspecific competitor yes if you don't have any competitor you will not fight for resources you will not fight for food so you will enjoy your life and it will increase your size it is absolutely correct absence of interspecific competitors next is absence of predators so if there will be no predator for you nobody will be there to harm you kill you you will enjoy your life then your size will also increase so that is also a correct reason next is limited habitat so limited habitat will not give your size more if their habitat is unlimited very spacious then you will get more size in your body so this is not correct next d option is limited prey base limited prey base means if your food is less if your prey are less in 
amount then you can't grow your size your gigantism will not be displayed so this will also not be the correct option so only these two things are the reasons as a result we can say that there is island gigantism in any species if we see i hope you are able to understand very simple thing the species in the island or the far away places isolated places are having comparatively bigger size than their mainland relatives let's move on to the next question next question it is showing a graph but i will tell you this is also a very very chocolate question very simple thing if you know the concept let's read the question first question is s1 and s2 are two strains of bacteria so two different kinds of bacteria s1 and s2 the result of a bacterial growth experiment on these strains measured after 24 hours are shown so there is the bacterial growth experiment going on and after 24 hours this result is given so black and white bars represent s1 and s2 respectively so black bar shows s1 bacteria its development after 24 hours and the white bar represent the s2 bacteria after 24 hours of bacterial growth so here we should analyze this thing you should focus on this graph only so on the y axis it is given number of cells x axis it is given what is the condition so condition is when the s1 that is the s1 bacteria when it is grown alone individually no s2 is grown in that plate so that will be petri plate we will be growing that bacteria so we can assume that culture plate so in that if it is grown alone you can see number of cells are this much we don't know whether it is more or less but number of cells are this much and similarly when the s2 bacteria is grown alone without any competitor then its growth is this much you can see white one that is s2 but when it is co-culture co-culture means they are grown together what we are seeing in that time the white s2 bacteria is having more growth than the alone growth when it was alone and black bacteria that is s1 strain its population number of cell has decreased so what is this thing this is showing that when they are grown together someone is decreased and someone is having the increased population size or their number of cells increase so this is not that it is amensalism or commensalism or it can never be mutualism because both are not growing together both are not developing together amensalism means what one will be minus one will be zero but here one is having plus one will be having the minus and commensalism also not commensalism because in commensalism one will be benefited other will be not at all affected but here both are affected in the different ways one is increased and one is decreased so we can say it is a cooperator cheater kind of interaction that means what is this cooperator cheater this thing this interaction when two species are in cooperation they are staying together one is having the opposite thing that means it is cheating it was alone it was growing more but it became low and it was alone it was growing less but it became more so this is a cheating when they are cooperating but they are not having benefit or they are having the opposite thing they are cheating with each other so this is the thing which i wanted to tell you in this video i hope you have learned something new you have noted down all these things and i will remind you that if you haven't watched the previous lessons you can watch the link provided in the description as well as in the i button so see you guys in our next video don't forget to subscribe the channel to get further updates hit the notification icon see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself